Thank everyone for coming. I didn't prepare some speech. I just want to tell you from the heart why I'm running. Uh, and it's really because I'm passionate about this community. I believe that we don't have enough people standing up and fighting for our rights. Um, there needs to be accountability, transparency. There's been all kinds of things going on, going on up at City Hall and it's not coming from the people. In other words, the direction currently in our city is not coming from you. It's coming from staff, or it's coming from the state or federal governments, and it's time that we return the power back to the people. That's why I'm running for accountability, transparency, and I'm talking about all departments, everything from planning to business licenses, to the police department, and even to our law firm. You know, we are losing millions of dollars a year from the bad decisions that are being made, and it's time that, that we, you and I stand up and start demanding that staff and our elected representatives are doing our will and doing what's right for us opposed to just, uh, we've got them all confused. You know, they, they get elected and they, and they feel that, that, that they you know, need to be served. And gosh darn it, it's not that way. So we need to put the power back to the people. We need to start initiating the laws and codes that we want or don't want. You know, I haven't heard anyone talk about let's get rid of some of the laws that are that are bothering us. You know, maybe some of you know or don't know. No one's talking about that we need to audit our attorneys because not only have they spent a, a million to two million dollars or been paid a million to two million dollars, but no one's talking about the bad decisions they've made that have cost us millions, could cost us four million dollars here shortly with the Faith Fellowship. So I'm running on accountability, transparency, but I'm also uh, running on the fact of, of promoting San Leandro as a beautiful destination place, somewhere that we have everything that any family would want. And so what we need to start doing is we need to start creating a thriving uh, business uh, area. We need to have, you know, we, need to, we need to bring families here. We need to bring businesses here. We don't need to constrict or restrict you know, uh, businesses and, and individuals from flourishing. We need to help foster that. And I just think that, that things are backwards at City Hall. That they're coming from the wrong uh, people and departments. And I gotta wrap it up. Bottom line is, is I will stand and fight for your rights. I am not there for self-interest. I am truly here to serve you and to make a difference. And I already believe by Luke Sims resigning that, uh, that my work is already being shown, that we're getting rid of some of the old guard and it's time for opportunity and we need to seize this opportunity to connect all the dots and he said 30 seconds so I, I hope to have you guys a support. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you all for being here at uh, 8 o'clock on a Wednesday night that shows that you truly care about this community and I appreciate your being here. My name is Morgan Macrose. I am the mother of two daughters that attend San Leandro Public Schools. I'm a homeowner here in San Leandro. I've lived here almost 12 years. Um, I currently serve on the San Leandro Unified School Board, and I'm serving my second year as school board president. Like many families, I moved to San Leandro because I could afford the house in a nice neighborhood. And then I fell in love with the community. I stay here for the diversity. You know, San Leandro has a wonderful, uh, charming neighborhoods, amazing access to transportation, um, you know, incredible climate. I don't want San Leandro to become like any other town. I want San Leandro to be a better San Leandro. You know, on the spectrum of community, there's sterile and there's gritty. And we need to make sure that San Leandro stays in the middle of vibrancy. So that's why I'm running for city council, because I think we have some amazing opportunities before us right now, some amazing economic opportunities, but we risk missing out on those opportunities because I do not believe we have the leadership we need to grasp them. The LIT project is going to, has the potential to change the trajectory of this city. We can build our economy, rebuild our economy. We used to have a great economy, and then we didn't change with the times. But this fiber optic loop is giving us a second chance. But if we don't have leadership that understands it, that understands the magnitude of the possibilities, that can create a cohesive vision to direct staff to take advantage of these opportunities, to make sure that as businesses come to our community, our community succeeds just as they succeed. We're gonna miss out again, and we can't afford to miss out again. That's why this election is so critical. My time on the school board 
has been spent bringing seven people together to come to decision in very difficult economic times. We were able to do so and move forward. That's what we need on our city council right now. We don't have a city council that has a shared vision. And that's going to be critical in us moving forward. What I bring to the city council is the ability to bring those people together to direct staff so that they have a mandate to move forward so that our whole community can move forward. So I hope I can have your support in the Thank you. Good evening. I want to thank um, the Basil and uh, Halsey and Foothill uh, Homeowners Association and the Best Manor Association for having this event tonight. If, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ursula Reed. I am your current city council member re, uh, residing and serving here in District 2. And this lovely senior center that we've been able to open since uh, I've been on the council, we've had numerous, numerous um, ways that we have moved the city forward in the last four years despite the economy. Our economy has been trying and trying to bring us down. The state has been trying to pull our money away and pulling our money away, pulling out of redevelopment, pulling away um, our, the taxes we got from all of the homes being sold. We've been in a recession that's been like no other. But yet and still, with the council that you had with me serving as your council member, we have moved forward. We have opened not only the senior center, We've broken ground and we're building a beautiful Kaiser Hospital. And if you haven't seen it, it's a dynamic place that we're going to be um, employing 3,200 people. We finished our, um, our Carlton Center down, down the street for our seniors. We have been able to um, uh, put a dog park in the marina. We've been able to put um, all of these wonderful quality of life things for our uh, community in the community, even though we've had financial challenges. Yes, we have difficulties. Every city does. That's why that I'm championing us in promoting our, uh, promoting our uh, economic development, promoting our, promoting our uh, safety, our public safety, and promoting our um, quality of life. Our economy is the key to our quality of life. Having public safety, ensuring that people feel comfortable going out, walking the streets, spending their money, getting out there, is the only way we can bring back our economy. Creating jobs, creating development so people will move here, that's how we're gonna get our budget together. I've been working hard for the last four years, and I've started many projects. The fiber loop is phenomenal. We have tried, we have it, uh, put out a bid for a chief innovative officer to promote the fiber loop, and we've put in for federal funds to lengthen the loop, so it's not just 11 miles, but it's 18 miles. We know how much we have in that loop. Thank you very much.